What's going on you guys? This is Luigi Rocks 2014 bringing you the final part of Sonic the Hedgehog 4 episode 1. No, I'm not saying the finale because well, we still got another episode to go after this one, so that's why it's just going to be classified as the final part. All right, yep. So we're going to take on a uh, yep. Take on Eggman as the final boss. Not lose rings like an idiot. Um, <laughs> yeah, that might have looked like an easy fight, but trust me, it's only going to get more and more difficult as, as we get further through this... Uh, as, as we get further through the level. I want to grab those rings there. Wow, really? Ugh. Yep, I don't care, that was worth it. Yeah, so here you want to try to like land on top of him, but it's kind of hard just because of how big the level is. Um, yeah, thanks, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Yep, just take a hit like f literally for no reason and yeah I'm just gonna do a few cuts here since you guys kind of already get the general idea on how to defeat him so all right come on let's quit wasting time and move on to the next area please all right um yep try to grab all the rings around here and then Alright. Yeah, this final fight is definitely probably one of the more longer ones. Because you're basically fighting him in, like, the same styles as you did from, uh, previous, uh, zones. This is the one, the Lost Labyrinth fight. And, yeah, I don't know why I got hit there, so, yep, another cut going on there cutting out the rest of that fight since it's mostly just the same fight you saw in the Lost Labyrinth zone, so yep, that's another part that's getting cut out. Yeah, it's like every time I die I'm just gonna cut the rest of it out just because it's like, it's just annoying as hell every time I have to keep editing shit out, so. Alright, so, and then same thing goes with this fight. If, you know, just like before you have to Avoid the little bombs that he throws at you. Egg bombs, or whatever you want to call them. Watch out for the spike ball. Yeah, that's one difference with this fight, is the spike balls. Um, yeah, let's... Whoa! Okay, yeah, that's kind of cutting it way too close there. Okay, come on. Yeah, maybe I, I can do this one without having to do a cut, but, you know, the way that this is looking, it's looking like I might actually have to go for a cut. Or maybe not. Okay, good. <sighs> yeah, having to do all this editing is just completely ridiculous, but again, this was 2021 that I edited this video, but yeah, for the most part, I cut out most of the fights because, like, most of the areas, because, yeah, they were just mostly the same shit. Alright. Yeah, so, the last video, if you didn't see, well, probably didn't see it because I skipped the cutscene. In the last video, um, the cutscene you were about to see in the last video was Eggman going into space and stuff. So here, we have the final fight against Eggman and the good old Death Egg robot from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Yeah, if you thought that, you know, that, you know, fighting the Death Egg robot in, in the second game was too difficult... Yep, it's back again in this game. And again, I think this is kind of part of the problem why people didn't really like Sonic the Hedgehog 4 that much. Because Sega was kind of using the same... The same old shit that was used in previous games. The same old recycled crap that... That they could have done. Not even think of anything more creative. This was like literally the best that they could do. Like that was probably... Like even looking at this now, I definitely have to admit it is really stupid that... 
Sega decided, oh yeah, we have to have the same same old Death Egg, ro Death Egg Robot as the final boss for Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. Um, and yeah, to be honest, looking at this now, yeah, I think the idea is just, it's definitely stupid that, you know, they did that. You know, it's kind of like in the new, it's kind of like when Nintendo made the new Super Mario Bros. games and kept having the seven Koopalings as the bosses for like, for like every world and stuff and not coming up with anything new like they did in new Super Mario Bros. Mario Bros. DS where they had like the mummy, pokey, the the giant little uh, fish enemy thing, giant Goomba, or even PD Piranha, like... Um, ideas such as that were pretty were pretty good and pretty decent. There was even like the thundercloud Lakitu in World Seven. So you know, I feel like Sega could have definitely done something similar to like what Nintendo did in the new Super Mario Bros. DS game, not like Wii and Beyond that, where it was just the same old crap. Yeah, I took a hit there, so I decided to just cut that out. But yeah, it just it felt to me like you know. Yeah, Sega was just kind of reusing same old shit from previous games, and I think this was just kind of at the point where they just ran out of ideas and just decided to throw this in here at the last second kind of thing, and yeah, it's kind of one of the things that kind of upsets me, and I think a lot of people is having this De Death Egg Robot as the final boss. You know, it was one thing for him to return, for it to return in Sonic Generations, since, you know, that game involves time traveling, but for me... Personally, having it in this game just, I don't know, I just don't really feel like it makes any sense because the storyline for this game pretty much, it's like the same storyline from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Like, nothing about it really changed at all, and I see why this game got so, why some people gave it a really bad review, because yeah, it was just the same old idea, it wasn't anything new or anything like that, and it's also one of the reasons, I guess you could say, why... Sonic the Hedgehog 4 never got an episode 3 because the first two episodes just didn't turn out all that great or at least this first episode turned out horrible. I mean the second one was a little bit better. Second episode's better because you got Tails in that one but I don't think it's really enough to change the fact that it's still that that Sonic the Hedgehog 4 definitely turned out to be a pretty bad game nonetheless. So yeah it is kind of ridiculous that the game's got its got a few problems here and there um and i understand why people don't like it you know i understand a few reasons why people definitely hate sonic the hedgehog 4 um so i definitely can respect those people's opinions on that you know it's like for me personally it's kind of more of a mixture of yeah i kind of like the game and like no i don't really like the game um yeah, it's it's just kind of depends on like what part of the game we're talking about. Um, that's probably what it'll often depend on. Okay. Um, okay. There's one part of the fight that I screwed up on. Um, oh yeah, this thing right here. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is it or not. Oh, yeah, I think he ends up going crazy here. Yeah, this part here, you want to try to land on Eggman, like, hit the robot before the platforms fall, and that was, like, the stupidest mistake I made right here. Um, so, yeah, I decided to just cut that out and make a second attempt. So, yep, here's a attempt number... I think it's number two or something. I don't know. But, yeah, there's, the, there's that, and then once you hit the robot you can pretty much get out of here and all that stuff and that is pretty much the end of <coughs> episode one of sonic the hedgehog 4 yep sonic cleared the final stage well it may be the final stage but it's not entirely over for this series because you know we still got episode two to do if episode three ever got released like on playstation 5 or something like that Really can't say if I would ever do a walkthrough on it, even if they did decide to release an episode 3 of Sonic the Hedgehog 4. And it's just mostly because I really don't want to get a PlayStation 5, let alone get the game on Nintendo Switch. Like, I don't know, I think having just these two episodes, I think it's just 
probably about more than I can a part of me can tolerate. But yep, we got the end credits here. But you'll see that in episode two, that having tails in that one is definitely pretty useful. You know, areas that you normally wouldn't be able to get up to, you can use him to, to get up to those high places. So, that's one good thing I love about um, episode 2 of Sonic the Hedgehog 4. I think a lot of people would agree that it's definitely better than episode 1. Not really as good as... Not really all that great, but it's definitely, you know, better than the first one. You know... Yep, so, I've got the end credits. I mean, I don't really have much else to say here when it comes to the end credits. Um, I mean, I would be, t I could talk about, like, like what my next walkthrough is gonna be, but I think I'm gonna wait until we get closer to the finale, or maybe to the, the end credits of episode two to explain that, so. Some of you guys already know what my next walkthrough is if you've been in my Discord server. Um, some of you probably may not. Um, but you'll find out soon. But for right now, we're this walkthrough still is far from over. So, yep. Basically, at this point, we got like probably six more parts to go, and then this will be officially over. Yeah, episode two was a lot longer because um, because of the episode metal, and I think it was also because the because that one was a little bit longer than this first one here. Um, so I think that was part of the reason why episode 2 took longer to finish. Yep. <sighs> yeah, I just don't really have much to say about these credits. I mean, I can't really hear the game audio, but I know you guys probably can. I actually t tend to forget what the end credits music even sounds like. I, wa I did listen through a little bit of the video, but I didn't really, like, watch through the end credits or anything like that, so... Yeah. Kind of makes you wonder why they even need to have an end credits for episode one. Especially if there's a second episode to go through. But, you know, that's, that's Sega for you. That's Sonic Team. They'll just... They'll do a lot of stupid shit. Um... Yep. Yep, that stupid Death Egg robot that doesn't really need to be in this game, and yet it is. I mean, I don't see the point of why it needs to be in here. You know, they were able to come up with a decent final boss for Sonic Generations, and yet they couldn't think of a decent final boss for Sonic 4 Episode 1, which is rather pathetic. Okay, yep, so we got another... a little cutscene here, which you're about to see what it is. Yep, that's right, Metal Sonic Returns. And in case you're wondering, um, Sonic CD and Sonic the Hedgehog 4, I guess you could say... I guess you could say they share a bit of a relationship, so... Playing... so in a way, it's like Sonic 4, I guess you could say, is confirmed to be a sequel to Sonic the Hedgehog CD. Um, like, some of the stuff here takes place after the events of CD. Uh, but anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Please write, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to join the Discord down below. And I'll see you guys next time when we take on Sonic the Hedgehog for Episode 2. Until then, this is Rocks 2014 signing out. And I'll see you all next time. Later, guys.